Movie tickets could cost up to $30 in the future, and reportedly regal chain cinemas are installing 4D effects like vibrations and rain and fog and more to moviegoers to give you that full experience. Well, Catherine and Jessica are back with me, and uh, movie prices are, are going up. My wife and daughter came back the other day, and they said... Oh, we went to the show and it was they were raving about the big leather recliners. Yeah. They couldn't believe the theater. It was really, really oh. nice. Is this the future? I don't really like going to the movies. I like to just sit at home for free. My cat is allowed there with me. Yeah. And I'm allowed to talk if I want, if I have a question, if I can't pay attention. For your cat. Movies are very long. <laughs> if I have any feelings I want to express, I can. <laughs> if I want to get rained on, I can go outside in the rain. Yes. And that's actually free. So... I'll probably save my I mind. like going to the movies. <laughs> I the 3D glasses. Like I went to see Jurassic World, which I thought was amazing and not sexist. I, I know that was a big cool. debate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I get frustrated when you just put the glasses over my own glasses, which I wear for a yeah. movie. But not to get too serious about this, the fact that movie tickets might go up to thirty dollars when you think about how uneven the recovery has been, how wages are stagnating, and you think that a family of four to go to the movies it'll be upwards of one hundred and fifty dollars if you get snacks. It's really frightening, yeah, but, even but in New York City. I'll throw in the other uh, serious part of this debate, and that is now we've had another shooting at a theater, mm -hmm. and a one before Lafayette and out in Aurora, and you just keep going down this road. So you really it, think it, we the, should just the stay movie home? theater industry has got to be going. We're afraid of people like you, Catherine, that are going, I'm just going to stay home and watch Netflix. Right. You have a lot of things working against you here. It's definitely not the time to raise the price. People don't have money. People are. As soon as I tweeted out there, I saw this story, people were like, oh, I mean, I don't want to go to a theater because it could cost me my life or something like that. People are scared. It's happening every day. It probably will happen again. And, I, yeah, I don't really see this being all that successful for a lot of reasons. Movie, is this something you're going to tell your grandchildren about movie theaters that what, there that? might be a gunman in the no. theater yeah, the no no i mean i might say that you know they tried to have rain in the theater for a little while and that didn't really pan out and i was the only one who probably paid for that ticket uh no i mean the gun issue it's a serious one i don't think we're having a gun control debate i can tell you where i fall on that we need more intense gun restrictions in this country um but I think, you know, it's just it's the increasing expense of this, which used to just be like a fun, light thing that you can do. You know, I remember when it was yeah. $12 here. I grew up in the city here. And I remember thinking $12 was a lot, now $18 and, you know, climbing well, and climbing. We may, see, and we may see movie theaters only in, in uh, the higher income neighborhoods. You can, that, may be, that may be where they go. You can also bring your own water and dump it on your own head during the raining parts <laughs> for free. A little tip for everybody. <laughs>